Therefore, HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells us, not only do we have an obligation to wipe out Amalek, but we also cannot forget. Why? Amalek is not just a people. Amalek is an ideology. Amalek could literally be in your neighborhood, in your local markets, and even inside your yeshiva. And therefore, Rav Elchanan Vassaman says, in my words for the king, you have to know that the strategy begins with identifying the enemy. And when it comes to the enemy, there cannot be any mercy. There not, cannot be any type of liberalism. Because if you do that, you're violating the Torah as HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself said to the prophet Yeshaya, Isaiah, En shalom Hashem amal No peace to the wicked, said God. Today, Amalek is doing the same thing. By enticing people to leave the Bet Midrash, to leave the four walls of the yeshiva, of the kolel, to go and pursue business endeavors. Listen, man, you're learning. What are you making? A few hundred? How can you live off of that? Oh, well, my, uh, my wife works. Say, yeah, but maybe she doesn't want to work. Or maybe she's going to be too tired with the kids. Or maybe this, or maybe that. But either way, even if you're surviving now, one day you're going to have to wed these kids. How are you going to wed them? You know, a wedding costs a lot of money. Then you have to get them a house. Then you have to get them this. Now the guy starts giving him, the Amalek starts giving him all types of ideas and concerns about things that don't even exist. He just got married. He just had his first kid. But this Amalek is giving him concerns about something that may happen in 25 years from now. But he convinces him to leave the Bet Midrash now. Why? Because he has a good business opportunity. Come, we have a business opportunity. Cash advance. You can destroy the economy, make the non-Jews hate us even more, increase anti-Semitism. All the while, you can donate to the local synagogue and look like a hero. <laughs> 